Hi everybody, Rudy at Clodden's Painting Studio back again with the next in the uh, Box to Battlefield Hobby Basics series looking at building the Perry 1812 to 1815 French line infantry. And after looking at the um, straightforward uh, two piece models, which consist of um, the backpack and um, the body, we're going to look at some of the more complicated uh, to put together models on the sprue, um, including the skirmishing voltageurs, um, the command group, um, and also the potential for um, conversion with head swaps um, that exists with this set. So looking at the um, sprue, I've removed a few of the, the Fusilier um, and uh, Flank Company models that were marching from this set. Um, but we've got options left for building our skirmishers. Um, models in the centre with no arms. Um, there's an aiming musket. Um, and a musket being held on one hand. Um, and that can be getting reloaded. Um, this here is um, the uh, cartridge. So it's a small bag of paper with musket ball and black powder in it and you can model that up at the mouth um, being bitten open um, and his other hand here um, could be reaching um, for a cartridge from the cartridge box on the belt and um, there's also option for a pointing arm as well uh, one of the models comes on its integral base the other one doesn't and um, it's this whole one in the center here um, there's also a marching um, flank company on an a sprue who needs glued to his base as well which I've already done. Looking at um, the head options around the sprue um, we have a few different ones we have some uh, covered shackles one with the ear flaps um, flopped down tied under the chin one with the ear flaps loose. Um, I like this one it looks like it's um, almost been cleaved perhaps with a, a saber a saber and we have a few um, Bear heads, one here. Um, there's another one on one of the other sprues with a bandage around it. And we've got a few in this cap called the Pocolem. This was um, a forage cap, and after the 1812 uh, campaign, they increased the rate of conscription to fill the ranks, um, and quite often. Um, Mary Louise's, as they were known, uh, these conscripts um, were sent out with a little more in a great coat, um, apocalypse, and a musket. So, not great news for them, but I like including some of these heads, um, and I will show you how to uh, trim the heads off the models and place them. Um, I've cut out some of the command models already um, down here, and um, we have the officer. Um, he has a, a separate sword arm. Quite straightforward to attach that one there. Uh, the drummer has separate arm um, with the drumstick. It's placed across the body like so. Um, there are three drums um, on the sprues. There's one on each, um, but only one drummer body, so don't let that confuse you. Um, drum comes in two pieces to be glued together. Uh, there's a a hole which locates nicely onto the front of the thigh and bear in mind um, that these straps are hanging down so they're going to face downwards when that goes on. The drummer um, and the eagle bearer um, look for a pack that has no cartridge box and um, they wouldn't be carrying a musket so no cartridge box necessary. A note on the eagle bearer um, or standard bearer um, if you like the flagpole that is provided um, is designed to fit this um, 1815 standard that's here. Um, if you want to be um, playing somewhere between 1812 and 1815, um, it's a different pattern of flag. Not a huge deal, um, but there is a difference there in appearance. But the other thing is most third party flag manufacturers, the dimensions are going to be different. Um, I have 1812 flags from uh, GMB designs and 
there's about a two millimeter difference in height here um, and that means it's going to be a real struggle to get that to fit on um, to this plastic flag that's provided. So what I have here is a 50 millimeter wire spear and um, I got this from Warlord and I'll try and link to um, their store so you can get some more. And if you trim the eagle and the ribbon off the, the top and make a hole in it, I have a pin vise, which is a great little tool. Um, it's a, a drill, but you hold it in one hand and you can rotate it. And that lets you um, make little holes into which you can insert wires to strengthen uh, models. Um, but also in this case, That hole there I can insert the spear tip I'll secure that with some super glue um, and I've got a much longer flagpole there so there'll be plenty of room for the um, flag from GMB or um, another third party so that's one tip there let's look at decapitating uh, one of these fusiliers um, to place a apocalym on instead my trusty clippers. I found the best way um, is to aim at the bottom of the collar, beak sort of to the middle of the neck there, trim down. If it doesn't come off cleanly um, you can almost just wiggle it until it does. Um, and with the um, craft knife scalpel blade it's going to smooth this out. A test fit is a good idea. It's not bad, just a little bit more smoothing off. And plastic glue. My little metal nozzle has decided to stick inside the lid. Didn't clean it off last time. Always wipe it down, folks. Plastic glue is especially good for this sort of thing because you are going to be melting the two surfaces together with the solvent. And that can help fill any gaps. So we'll get his pack on and he will join the ranks. <clears throat> the main thing um, is to take your time uh, when trimming these bits from the sprue there aren't really any instructions so it's a good idea perhaps if this is your first time working on it um, work on one model at a time so you don't end up with a big pile of pieces that it's easy to get jumbled up with <clears throat> and the officer is an easy one to start with just look for his sword arm clean it up with your knife and glue that in place Perhaps then do the drummer, a bit more complex there. Remember the pack with no cartridge box. Same pack for the eagle bearer. And if you plan to use a different flag, consider um, replacing this flagpole with something a bit longer. So hopefully that's been a, a useful run through on how to um, work with some of the extras um, in this kit. Um, I've got plenty of these to be painting up. Um, to get us towards the finish line and I'll see you for the next video soon. Thanks very much, bye bye.